if you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Emma. I make videos all about 60s and 70s fashion, lifestyle, makeup, and all of these amazing things. And today's video is all about a 1960s fashion must-have, the wonderful white go-go boot. So today I'm sharing 10 ways on how to style white go-go boots with you. But before I get into that, let me tell you a bit about the history of the go-go boots. So the go-go boots were one of the biggest 1960s fashion trends. They were super popular with mod fashion, with space age, hippies wore them, and even high-end department stores sold them. They were a little bit of curtsy and a little bit of rock and roll, and that's what made them so popular. So a go-go boot is characterized by often being made out of vinyl leather, just like this one, or even plastic. They come up to right below the knee, and they only have a small heel. Go-go boots were also super popular with science fiction movies and the James Bond movie movies, which made them extremely empowering to women. But the go-go boots were really popular among all women in the 60s and 70s, from folk singers like Buffy St. Marie to flight attendants and professional cheerleaders. Pretty much everyone hopped on the go-go boot trend. So prior to the 1960s, boots were really just a practical thing. They were highly associated with working and they weren't really a fashion item. But during the 60s, hemlines became shorter and boots were a really popular fashion choice. In 1964, French designer André Courogues, I hope I say that right, introduced a new and very futuristic inspired collection that he called the Moon Girl look. The collection featured A-line skirts, short hemlines, a lot of monochromatic looks, and white go-go boots. His boots were tall, white, and flat-heeled, and they were kind of the first pair of go-go boots. Soon after, a lot of designers hopped on the boot trend. So in the 60s, the mod subculture of London was influencing the mainstream fashion. And the go-go boot was seen as an ultra-hip, ultra-modern fashion statement. Even though a lot of people think Mary Quent invented the go-go boot, and she didn't, she in fact contributed to the go-go boot becoming so, so popular. Mary Quent was the woman who made mini skirts super popular in the 60s in London, and because a lot of her models wore them with go-go boots, she really contributed to the go-go boots becoming a big fashion staple. And Mary Quent really liked the idea of the mini skirt showing a lot of leg, and then with boots kind of being a bit more modern. So that is why she chose the go-go boots with a lot of looks. So with the Beatles leading the British invasion through America, the go-go boot and mod fashion in general became super popular in America too. In 1966, Nancy Sinatra released her song, These Boots Were Made For Walking, and in that video she is seen wearing a white pair of go-go boots, which really boosted their fame even more. Since that song is one of the most popular songs from the 60s and it is really empowering for women, the go-go boot really became a female empowering fashion statement. So while the high-end go-go boots were mostly made out of leather, most of the cheaper go-go boots were made out of vinyl, just like the ones that I have right here. And because a lot of young people didn't have the money to afford the expensive ones, the vinyl and plastic leather look became extremely popular. So I got my pair of go-go boots on eBay. I love them. I love that they're vinyl leather. For me, that really captures that 60s mod look. And I think if you can't find them secondhand, that that's great because it's just a sustainable way. But if you can't, I know that you can also get them on Amazon and a lot of other places. And because they are made out of vinyl leather or plastic, they are genuinely really inexpensive. So now that I talked about the boots so much and the history, let me show you 10 ways on how I like to style go-go boots. So I feel like this first look is super classic 60s mod, space age inspired, and it is this dress. I absolutely love this dress. This is a vintage 1960s mini dress. I absolutely love the monochromatic look and the print. I think it is so so much fun and geometrical prints like this were super popular during the 60s and since the dress is already so much I really just wanted to keep it simple with the accessories and so all I added were these white sunglasses I personally love the look of a pair of white sunglasses with a pair of white go-go boots I feel like it ties the look together perfectly and I just really think it adds that little bit of extra fashion so even though hippies for example wore go-go boots with long hemlines most people wore them with shorter hemlines so either with shorts or a mini skirt and the next look is all about styling them with shorts so I started off with this wonderful pair of black leather shorts I think they're absolutely amazing and I really love to play with texture and so I think these are an amazing staple piece I paired them with a very classic 60s fashion item a simple white blouse if you want to see 10 ways on how to style a white blouse I did that video too and I'm gonna link it here for you so I really wanted to capture that 60s spirit and so I also went with 
this wonderful vest. This is one of my favorite items. It's a black velvet vest. I love the detailing of the little mirrors. And I really like the look of this with go-go boots because from the back, this comes down to my knees. So from the back, it looks like I'm wearing boots and then this. And then from the front, you can also see my thighs. And I really like that look. And since this look kind of reminded me a lot of Mary and Faithful and Anita Pellenberg, I also added a hat. I absolutely love the look of this hat. It's also velvet textured, so it matches the vest perfectly, and I think this is an amazing 60s look. Moving on with another very classic Mary Quant inspired look. So Mary Quant was really famous for her A-line cut dresses. They were usually either one colored or two-toned, or they had an amazing print, and I have this very classic 60s mini dress. These are really characterized by being super boxy and kind of A-line cut and these with white go-go boots are just a super classic and easy 60s look. And this is an extremely short dress and so I really love to go by that idea that Mary Quant had which is that you don't show your entire leg because you're kind of wearing go-go boots and I really like that look. So in the mid 60s the Beatles went to India and from that point on Indian fashion really influenced their style and because they took their girlfriends and wives with them. It also influenced their styles and because the Beatles girls were big fashion icons, a lot of people started to incorporate Indian outfits into their wardrobe. And so I have this wonderful vintage Indian dress tunic thing. I love the velvet detailing. I think the hemlines of this are absolutely beautiful. Next up I really wanted to do a dressed up look. I think the go-go -go boot is a super versatile thing. I love that you can wear it on the go, it could be an easy everyday look. Mine, for example, are super comfortable because go-go boots usually don't have a, too much of a heel. They are super comfortable to walk in and I really like to wear them on a night out as well. And one of my favorite ways to style them is with a black mini dress. I have this gorgeous 1960s vintage mini dress. It is made out of velvet and it has these beautiful gemstones all over it. I think this is such a special and amazing dress and I really like the contrast of the black dress and the white go-go boots. I love that they kind of add that clean finish to the look and I just think this captures the 60s spirit perfectly. So as said before, even though the go-go boots were super popular in the 60s, they stayed popular in the 70s. And so I wanted to style a very 70s look. So for that I chose this wonderful 70s vintage dress. This dress is backless and so beautiful. I really love the shape of it and this one is a bit longer so it comes down almost to my knees but I feel like it still looks amazing with go-go boots and when I style looks like this I really love to use patterned dresses and for example this dress has a little bit of white in it and so the white go-go boots really tie the look together. So in every one of these styling videos I try to at least incorporate one look that is super easy to recreate and that you don't really need a lot of things for because I know a lot of people are just starting out their vintage wardrobe and I I really want you to know that you don't need a lot of items to have an amazing vintage look. And so the next outfit is a really simple yet super 60s look. So to style this, I'm using a black mini skirt. I feel like these are super versatile. I style them in pretty much every single video because I just think it is something that is really easy to get and that you can wear in so many different ways. Because the go-go boots are great to wear in summer and in winter, I decided to go with a warmer option for the top. And so I went with this wonderful white turtleneck and that by itself would be a great look, but I kind of wanted to play around with accessories a bit more. So I added a white beret, this beautiful vintage silk scarf, and these amazing earrings. These are the Woodstock earrings by Wild Things. Their owner Haley was kind enough to send me these and I love them. I think they're so gorgeous. And then I also added a pair of glasses. I think glasses are a great way to accessorize a look. Moving on with this gorgeous dress. This is a 1960s inspired dress. I really love the psychedelic print. I really, really love this. I think this is a perfect hippie look. I absolutely love the print. This reminds me a lot of Patty Boyd and I really like to wear this with white go-go boots because as you can see, the paisley pattern kind of has white detailing to it. And for some reason, wearing this with white go-go boots really makes the dress pop even more. So I think that's an amazing look. And I feel like all of these looks just really go to show you that white go-go boots pretty much go with everything that you would want them to. So for this next look, I really wanted to go for a late 60s, early 70s, less mod and more hippie look. And so I started off with this gorgeous pair of suede leather shorts. And I paired these shorts with this gorgeous 1970s 
lace blouse. I love the sleeves, they are so dreamy and the color detailing is absolutely gorgeous. Moving on with the final look, I wanted this to be a very laid back, very simple look because the go-go boot was also really popular among a lot of younger girls and so I feel like a simple mini skirt and shirt look is just a great option. I started with one of my favorite mini skirts which is this dark blue one. It is a vintage skirt and it's just the perfect mini skirt cut. I paired it with this wonderful vintage shirt. Knitted shirts like this were super popular during the 60s and 70s and since this is kind of loose and baggy on me, I really like that laid back look. And since the go-go boot is such a big mod trend, I wanted to accessorize it with another big mod trend, which are chain belts and especially circular chain belts like this one. So these were my 10 looks. I really hope you like them. I feel like it's kind of a bit repetitive, but it really just goes to show you that you can wear everything with white go-go boots. Another amazing way to style them would be with a jumpsuit or or some overalls. Some people also really like to wear them under maxi dresses and long pants. I feel like you can style them with pretty much everything you want and I would love you to leave a comment down below telling me how you style white go-go boots because I feel like it is such an amazing fashion item and I feel like everyone has their own twist on how to style them. So I think you should wear them with whatever you would like. The most popular way was probably wearing them with a mini skirt or shorts. You can wear them with pretty much whatever you would like to because I feel like fashion is all about wearing whatever makes you feel amazing and whatever you feel great in. So that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love you to give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it with a friend. It supports me, it supports the channel and it would mean so, so much. If you're interested in 60s and 70s fashion, makeup, pop culture, music, hit the subscribe button because I upload multiple videos every single week all about that. I hope you're having an amazing day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine, take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys!